Hi everyone, this is Linda and I'm just going to do a very short video on alcohol inks. I am by no means an expert on this. I have just recently started playing with these, but I'm finding them a lot of fun. It's trial and error and a lot of experimenting, but sometimes they turn out better than what you expect. The other night I was playing around talking to a friend and I started this, it was going to be a flower. That was the center of the flower, that was going to be a petal and that was going to be a petal. And the more, longer I talked to her, the more I played and then we hung up and I just continued playing and it turned into this. This was just using canned air and, and dropping the alcohol ink onto the paper and then spraying it with the canned air and well one thing led to another and so now it's this little underwater scene of sorts and it was kind of fun. The next day I played a little bit more and I came out with this and as I started I was just going to do a couple of tulips or suggestion of tulips. And the more I played, the more this happened, and I used a straw and canned air. I used full strength alcohol ink, and I used diluted alcohol ink. And I'm actually very happy with this. When I first started with this, I was using these white tiles, or just cheap white tiles. And I um, started spraying with these. Well, not spraying really, but putting down ink and using a straw to blow it around. So you put the ink on and then you put a drop of alcohol in there or blending solutions, alcohol blending solution by Tim Holtz. And they do basically the same thing, the blending solution, I'll probably be corrected on this, but the blending solution doesn't dry quite as fast, so you can use it a little bit longer. You can also use it to clean your brushes and, and um, that kind of stuff. Anyway, so then I played a little bit more and I came up with this one. And I kind of like it, it kind of reminds me of maybe Arizona, kind of a sunset, kind of a, I'm not really sure what it looked like. This one kind of looks like Halloween and pumpkin and a lot of playing. Now, once you do these, you have to seal them because if you don't, the alcohol will scratch off. Um, not real easy, but it does scratch. So you can seal them with, um, I prefer using resin because then it, you can use it as a coaster and you would finish the backs. I haven't gotten that far yet, so I'm, I'm not going to talk a lot about that. But um, I thought I would just do a couple of trial and error things here and, and see what it looks like. You can get this little, um, I'm not sure what it's called even. You can, it's got felt on it, Velcro. You can put it on there, then you can spray alcohol on it. And then you can clean these. That removes any dirt or old alcohol or whatever you want to on that. So, and then I've also got this uh, egg tray. It's a porcelain egg tray. My sister-in-law found it. I was going to use it for watercolors, but I actually use it for the alcohol inks. And this is dried ink in here. And then to rejuvenate it, you put a little bit of alcohol in there, like this one has got alcohol in there. 
and then you can uh, use it on your tiles or Yupo paper. Yupo paper is a plastic, non-porous type of paper. Hang on, I'll get you a pack of that. And this is Yupo paper. It's polypropylene, smooth finish, and it comes in different pads, and it's very smooth. Like I said, it's non-porous, and so um, you use the paper as well as the tiles, but you can also use canvas, but you have to seal the canvas. And I'll talk about that in another video. So this is Yupo paper, and I've not sealed this. Um, I will use a, a UV spray on this. So I've cleaned that, the alcohol is dry. I can use this brush and draw on this, or I can paint on this, or I can drop alcohol drops on this. But let's just drop, well let's take a, um, this is called watermelon, and this is diluted. So I've put drops of the ink in here and then diluted it with alcohol, and the alcohol is just rubbing alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl. And um, that's the strength that you should use, that or above. Um, the others contain too much water. So now I can use a spray can of canned air. You just buy it at the store where they sell electronics and it's just the um, canned air. And you can blow it around it takes a little bit to figure out how to do it, but you can also use, and sorry for the sound, hair dryer. You can also use heat gun. Gives you a little bit different look, and you can see it drying. Or you can use a straw. What did I do with my straw? I think I just blew the straw away. So you would put it down, and then you can. blow with a straw. I get dizzy when I use a straw, so I don't really want to use a straw. So you can use different colors on top of each other. Let's take a blue, this is sailboat blue, and drop it in there. And you can let it move on its own. You can tilt it, or you can blow. and see what you get. When it dries in an area, then you can use your brush. Let me dry this real quick. Then you dip it just in alcohol, you can come back in and you can drop alcohol into this and you wait a second and it activates the dried alcohol and you can make different textures. You can make uh, different sizes depending on how much alcohol you put in there. You can use different colors of ink to drop in there.
once the dot is dry, you can go back in because what, what the alcohol does is it pushes the color away. So that's where you get clean tile back on there, or clean paper, whatever. Or if it's the on Yupo, if the paper doesn't always come white again, it kind of stains it a little bit, especially if it's a stronger um, color or full strength. You can layer the bubbles. So one on top of the other, one next to the other, and then they, they cross over. So let's see if this is still wet, but it gives you a little bit different look then. If we use full strength, and then blow. Gives you a different look. It's, it's all trial and error and you kind of have to have an idea in mind of colors you want to use. Today, I'm just literally playing. First of all, I normally don't do alcohol inks. I normally do watercolors, but I've found this and I'm enjoying it. And so I thought, well, I would do a few videos and see what the reception is. Going back to the alcohol inks, I bought these at Hobby Lobby carries some, Michael's Crafts carries some. For the most part, Michael's is, um, has a greater selection of the alcohol inks. The ones that they carry is by Tim Holtz and their Ranger. If you go to the store, they come in packets of three, and they have different colors that go together that are in these packets, and I don't really like buying them like that. I'd rather be able to pick and choose my own colors. But anyway, so this one is a watermelon. So I'm going to go back to the um, alcohol, and, and I'm going to use Yupo paper. This is just, I, I tried it uh, the other night on, on here, and um, this has even got some gold in it, you can kind of see. But it's just a, just a play, that's all it was. So I'm just going to use the other side and spread this around, use the canned air, see what we can get going here. Use some other colors. See what we can do. Like I said, I don't have a plan, but you can see what you can do. I'm going to hold this up closer so you can kind of see. You can see that it's still wet on that. And this I just used yellow. I've got um, butcher paper down and wax side up and so I can remove all of the ink I have on here for the most part. But okay now we were doing the um, droplets and those, let me show you this one again, up close. See those dots on there? It's all done with the brush and just dropping alcohol. If you wait a minute, they grow in size. The more alcohol you put down, the larger the size gets. 
Let's see. So that, those are all done with a brush. And I use different colors to drop in there to just barely touch it. And it would then put a color on there. And it will grow in size. The more color you have on it and alcohol, the bigger the, the droplet. Okay, so on this, it's almost dry, so I'm going to drop a little bit more alcohol on here. And you can kind of see that growing. I actually like this the most because it's fun to put these drops on and see what you can get. Anyway, so that's the drops. So let's do full strength and I'll show you what you can get when you use the canned air. See those little fingers? Those are fun to do. If you let it sit for a minute and kind of do its thing, then you can come in The one thing that I don't like about the canned air, if you've never used it before, the canned air gets really cold. And then it doesn't blow out a lot of air and your hands get really cold. So that's one thing that I don't like about it. But it does get the job done. And as long as it's still um, wet, you can keep blowing. And depending on which way you direct the air, you can make those fingers go out. And I really love playing with those little fingers. I think they're fun. And that's sort of how I started on the uh, tulips with these, um, the, the leaves in that. Um, the more alcohol strength, if it's more full strength ink, it tends to get really dark in these places. In this, I didn't really care if I was to do it over again and I didn't want that. I would use lighter strength alcohol so that it wouldn't go quite so black. But all of these little fingers and everything are just done using this and blowing it around and seeing what happens. And I, I think it's just a lot of fun. I've got a new camera that I'm testing out today. So on top of trying to do these and show you that, I'm trying to get familiar with this camera. And so it's not, it's not real easy here. But see, you can do that with the straw as well. But I, I honestly do get lightheaded. When I'm using the straw. I 
and you can do it faster with the canned air. I've got two or three cans that I'm using at a time so that when one gets too cold and I can't stand to hold it anymore, then I can go to another one. See, when they get up into there, they turn different colors. You can mix them up. You can use different, you can drop colors in there, see what they'll do. And then around the edge there, it's really dark as it's moving out. But while it's still wet, see the look that you can get. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Bye.